everybody, welcome to mini beginner's crash course to Elasticsearch in Kibana. My name is Lisa Jung and I'm a developer advocate at Elastic. So this is a series of short videos for developers who want to get started with Elasticsearch in Kibana. In episode 8, we learned how to add news headlines data set to Elasticsearch using the file data visualizer. Today, we'll learn how to explore your data set using the Kibana console. Now you can explore your data set by sending various requests to Elasticsearch and I've included these requests in a repo for you. To get to this repo, go to the link on the screen. This is your go-to link for all the resources I'll share with you this season. And the link is also included in the description of this video. Now once you get to the page, click on part two, then have this repo pulled up in one window then load the Kibana console in a separate window. All right, let's get started. I have two windows open side by side. On the left, I have the Kibana console. On the right, I have the part two repo. In episode eight, we've added a news headlines data set into an index we named news headlines. So we're going to explore this data set by sending various requests to Elasticsearch. Let's start by getting a feel for our data one way to do that is by getting information about documents in our index, knowing what type of information a document contains and how many documents we have will let us know what type of questions we could ask about our data set. Now there's a request that gets you that information. So go to the repo, then scroll down to search for information, then down to retrieve information about documents in an index. For every request we'll go over, I've included the general syntax for you, so you could customize this for your own use case. But for our tutorial, we'll use a request shown below example. So what we're saying here is get search results from news headlines index. So let's copy and paste that into the console. Make sure to select and send. Now, what this does is it gives you information of all documents in the news headlines index. So in the right panel, you'll see search results from Elasticsearch. If you scroll down to line 16, it gives you a sample of 10 documents in our index by default. So if you look at one of these documents, you'll see that from the index news headlines, a document has been retrieved. If you look under source, it'll list the name of all the fields that are in our document. For example, it shows you the date this headline was published, short description, category, headline, and etc. So this is a great way to get a general idea of what our document looks like so we know what we're dealing with. All right, so let's see how many documents we have. So go back to line 10 and you'll see hits. And it tells you that total value of hits is 10,000. So by default, Elasticsearch limits the total count to 10,000. And this is done to improve the response speed on large data sets. To see if 10,000 is the exact total number of hits you have, then check the relation field below. If you see an EQ in this field, that means the value is equal to the total number of hits. But we see GTE here, which means that our number of hits may be greater than or equal to 10,000. Let's say we want to know the exact total number of hits. So to do that, look at your repo, then scroll down to get the exact total number of hits, then down to example. So this is almost identical to the request that we just sent. We're saying, hey, get search results from news headlines index. By the way, I want the exact total number of hits. So let's copy and paste that into the console. Make sure to select and send. Depending on how big the data set is, this query may have a slower response time. If you look at our response and go to line 12, you'll see that the value is now 200,853. If you look at relation, you'll see that the value is EQ, which means that this is the exact total number of hits. 
Okay, now we know that we have over 200,000 news headlines, and we want to find interesting patterns in our data, but it's hard to know where to even start. So one way to narrow it down is to search for data within a specific time range you're interested in. Let's scroll down to search for data within a specific time range, then down to example. Now, there are two main ways to search in Elasticsearch. These are queries and aggregations. So queries tell Elasticsearch to retrieve documents that match the specified criteria. Right now, we're retrieving documents that match our time range criteria. So for our use case, we need to send a query, and this is what we're going to send. So here, we're saying, hey, get search results from News Headlines Index. I'm querying documents from a certain time period. So the type of query I'm sending is range. The following are criteria for documents in my search results. I want you to look at the field date and retrieve all documents that were published between these two dates. So let's copy and paste that into the console. Make sure to select and send. You'll see that we got over 8,000 hits. And when you look through all the hits and look at the field date, you'll see that all hits in our results have been published between the two dates that we have specified here. So how can we explore our data even further? Well, when we look at documents in our search results, we see that these headlines belong to different categories like media and parents. To explore our data further, it would be really helpful if we knew what type of news categories exist in our data set. So let's scroll down to aggregation section. Remember, there are two main ways to search in Elasticsearch. These are queries and aggregations. Queries are used to retrieve documents that meet the specified criteria, but in this case, we're not interested in grabbing documents. What we want to know is a type of news categories that exist in our data set. So to get this information, we need to analyze the data and get the summary of categories that exist in our data. This type of search is known as aggregations. So this time we'll send an aggregations request. So turn to your repo, then scroll down to example. And the aggregations request is pretty similar to the query we just sent. So here we're saying get search results from news headlines index. By the way, this is an aggregations request. I want to name their aggregations results as by category. Now, I want you to run a terms aggregations to pull up every unique term in the following field. And the field is called category. And I want you to pull up up to 100 categories if you got them. Let's copy and paste this into the console. Make sure to select and send. Now, you're going to go to line 10, hits. Then click on this downward arrow to minimize hits. And then you'll gain access to aggregations report, which we named by category. Now, if you look under buckets, you'll see an array of categories that exist in our data set. For example, we have politics, wellness, entertainment, and also includes a document, the headlines that have been written about each category. Okay, so now we have more to work with. So let's scroll down to a combination of query and aggregations request. Now, it seems like the entertainment category contains a lot of articles, and I want to explore that a little bit more. So let's say I wanted to identify the most popular topics in the entertainment category. Now, this is a combo of both query and aggregations requests, because first, you got to pull all the documents from the entertainment category. So you got to query the data first, then you have to analyze query data and give a summary of the most popular or significant topics in the entertainment category. So let's scroll down to example. So here we're saying, hey, I want to get search results from news headlines. First, I'm sending a query request here. 
I want you to query all documents that match the following criteria. Retrieve all documents from a category called entertainment. Then run on aggregations on the query data and name the results popular in entertainment and give me the summary of significant text found in the field headline. So let's copy and paste that into the console. Make sure to select and send. Now go to line 10 and minimize hits. Then you'll see the aggregations results, which we named popular in entertainment. Now, if you look at the field buckets, it'll list the most popular term mentioned in the headlines in the entertainment category. So it seems like the word trailer has been mentioned a lot. There are 387 headlines that mention the term trailer. Other popular terms are movie, Taylor, Kardashian, and etc. Now that we have an idea of what are the most popular topics in the entertainment category, we can delve into these topics that we find interesting. So by running various queries and aggregations, you can gain insights from your data set and do an even deeper dive on insights that matter to you. All right, so we just went over how we can initially explore our data set with the Kibana console. This content is an excerpt from the beginner's crash course to Elastic Stack part two. Part two is a full length workshop where I talk about the relevance of a search, how to add data to Elasticsearch, and how to fine tune the precision or recall of your search by sending Elasticsearch requests. So if you prefer the full length workshop format, check out the link shown on the screen. And the link is also included in the description of this video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next episode of mini beginners crash course to Elasticsearch and Kibana.